having the ability to shorten the gap between your imagination and having the product and getting to market is extremely important to us. Hi, I'm John Brigham, Vice President here at Eichlet Underwater Systems. We're in our headquarters here in Indianapolis, Indiana. The company was started by my father here in 1962. He actually ended up going on a dive trip in the Great Lakes. All of their lights imploded. Uh, at that point, he said, I can design a new one. Ended up pouring the mold in his oven, and it kind of evolved from there. And it got really to the point, well, what else can we waterproof? And that became cameras, and then strobes, and lighting, and electronics. And it's really evolved over the past 60 years. In today's world, we can get a CAD file from a camera manufacturer, and we can actually end up designing the case around that CAD file, creating the case, designing it, seeing all the interface. It's not unusual for us to announce a new housing once a month or a new product in between there. So we're announcing products pretty frequently. And it's not the lack of ideas for products that's stopping you, it's, it's your capability of actually producing them which is why we focused all of our energy on closing that gap. The OE was our first machine and it worked like a champ. It, it made good parts and it held tight tolerances. We ended up going with the VF4 because the VF4 had the wider, the wider bed and it had the travel, it had the 50 tool carousel. It had the, the probe for touching off tools. It had the probe for touching off work offsets. The capability with the TRT 210 that we ended up picking up was now a part running 15 minutes that I can run for an hour uh, and not have to worry about visiting this machine. It frees up my time to do something else. When I saw the DS30, it was, here's two spindles. It can take that part, it can pass it off. So now I have the first and second op done, but it also had the live tooling. So all of that machining that was done even on another machine afterwards it all got done in one place. For us, it was even better because that meant that as the need from the customer came up or here in assembly, if they needed the part, they didn't have to wait for it to go all X number of parts through op one, then all X number of parts through op two. In this case, you can literally get them off as they come out the line. I wanted to be able to bar feed the part um, this, of course, comes from loading parts a lot, and you start to realize, like, well, I don't, again, want to babysit this. I want it to be able to feed parts out and be done. And the bar feeder for the DS30 goes up to 3-inch diameter, but we do a lot of parts that are all the way up to 9-inch. So we went with the RoboJob robot, so every part over 3 inches was able to be loaded by that. It's really the reality of I can make what I want when I need it. Ideally, as we move forward into the future, we want the humans to be on the creative side, the, the imaginative side. That's where it lets us to develop new products and, and not have to worry about doing more monotonous tasks. Making the parts is not what grows your business. Bringing in new business is what grows your business. And having these capabilities is what lets us do that.